Hey everybody, on today's episode of P-Dubs Arcade Loft, we're going to provide you some quick updates on the Toy Shock Digital Pinball line, as well as a quick tutorial video on how to replace your 1.3 PCB board. Okay guys, we are back, and I wanted to catch up with you on the Toy Shock Pinball line. For those of you who own version 1.1 machines, the original Toy Shock pinball machines, um, as of last week, roughly 70% of the requested replacement boards, the new version 1.3 replacement boards, were mailed last week around uh, May 14th or so uh, to those who requested them for their version 1.1 machines. They were shipped via, via first-class mail with tracking numbers in the order in which the requests were received. So check your emails, check your spam folders. If you did not receive an email, you're one of the unlucky 30% that did not get one. Toy Shocks Factory is waiting on additional PCB boards to be received, and once received, we'll forward those over here to the states for final fulfillment and mailing. Uh, Toy Shock says they expect the additional boards to be available in late May or early June, but of course, with international parts shortages going on right now, there is no guarantee. Toy Shock is asking that anyone who receives a replacement 1.3 PCB board that they go ahead and return it to Toy Shock. They can use the exact same shipping box and protective sleeve to ship the old PCB back to them. There is actually a pre-printed return label inside the box that can be taped over the existing label on the mailer box. So owners can slap that label on the box, drop it off at any post office, or put it in their outgoing mail at their convenience. Just as a reminder, the version 1.1 machines have the solid silver colored bezel. So if your machine is has a solid silver bezel, you have a 1.1 machine and need a replacement PCB board. If you have a silver black bezel on your machine, you already have an updated PCB. The new PCBs are intended to reduce the flip, flipper lag down to about a two frame delay, which is really good for virtual pinball, as well as allow for high score retention uh, so those high scores won't save with the machine being turned off for an extended period of time. The high scores will now save. Also, the speed of gameplay and everything has been increased. Everything is running at 60 frames per second, uh, thanks to uh, Farsight Studios and their work on updating these PCB boards. Now, when I originally filmed this particular uh, PCB replacement video, this video I posted several, several months ago was to replace your Toy Shock PCB with uh, from the 1.1 to the 1.2 board. But the 1.3 boards actually look different. So guys, unfortunately at this point, you're gonna follow the steps in the video up to this point and disconnecting all of the wires from the PCB. And we're, I'm going to now post over here a brand new video that produced by Toy Shock and this is the correct steps in order to correctly connect your new PCB board.
if you follow the steps in the video, you shouldn't have any issues getting your 1.1 Toy Shock Pinball Machine upgraded to the new 1.3 version PCB board. Also, for those of you asking about uh, updates to products or new releases or things like that, Toy Shock does have pinball machines, the 1.3 pinball machines, available for pre-order for Canadian customers on Best Buy Canada, on Best Buy's website for Canadian consumers. Here in the United States, they'll be available again at Walmart, but that'll be probably in June next month once the stock arrives from overseas. And when it comes to those sweet, sweet looking tabletop desktop pinball machines that a lot of us are waiting for, those aren't going to be available until this fall at the earliest, again, due to part shortages, getting things done via distributors and all that kind of stuff that Toy Shock is diligently working on. But there's your Toy Shock update. We uh, special thanks to Jeff and Linda Falky from Toy Shock for being uh, very helpful, very communicative, and always helping uh, the fans on their fan page. I'll have a link in the video description below for the Toy Shock fan page. You definitely want to join it. That way you can stay up to date on all the latest news from the Toy Shock pinball line. If you guys appreciated this quick update, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on the way out. And as always, guys, thank you for subscribing.